This is not the right ship to be doing this in. <laughs> oh, look who got slowed down, man. Sucks to be you.
Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to do a couple more upgrades and then we're going to go out and about and do our first uh, search for um, ships, emergency ships. So we have somewhere, is it in my, my ship itself? Where's those star charts that I bought? We should have 10, oh they're right here, okay. Yeah, my my brain was uh, not paying attention. Okay, so we got those star charts there. And um, I'm going to grab, well, actually, here. I want to grab this cyclotron module because we're going to go ahead and fit the cyclotron to our ship. And we're probably going to need at least one wiring loom for that. So let's... take one of those and if we end up needing more then we'll just have to come back for it okay so let's see here we are doing uh, really good uh, I have almost 10,000 nanites uh, so we got a whole bunch of those we farmed up those whispering eggs as you saw in the montage um, and we also have increased the space of our our exosuit technology slots significantly including a supercharged slot that we have right here um, so what I want to do here is I think I want to move well we need to go get I need to go get a couple more things uh, from the space station a couple more modules that I want to put in here and um, there's we're gonna need to get the 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 positron uh, I'm sorry cyclotron module from the, the anomaly so basically we need to go up to the space station and we need to go to the anomaly also I found this hybrid weed oak cutting thingamadoodle uh, it sells for 746,000 uh, that's all you do with this it's just for selling you can't use it as crafting so we're going to take that up and sell that make a little bit of extra bank okay so let's head up to the space station first yeah let's sell this make a little bit of extra bank from that um okay so let me think I think we need to go over to this side because I want to get some of the S-Class modules here in the station. No, no, for Pete's sake. Now that we have quite a bit of nanites to spend, so let's go over to you. And purchase upgrade modules. I want to get the uh, movement module and the life support module. We'll worry about the rest of those later. Uh, we're not going to do anything with extra crap. This is the ship guy. Okay, and I want to purchase from you the positron module and the cyclotron module. We'll worry about the rest of this later because we have very limited ship slots right at the moment. And then for you, let's see what you have. I want to get this scatter blaster module in the plasma launch, uh, plasma launcher module. Okay, so that we still have over 5,000 nanites, so we're still doing fine on the nanites. All right, let's run over to. Just looking at these ships really quick. That's an A-level ship, but it looks like it's the same thing we have, or similar enough to where it's not a big deal. All right, let's go over to the anomaly now. So we're after a couple of things here. Let's hop up here. I've got some uh, milestones to turn in. I haven't scanned, really scanned anything new, so we don't have anything for Helios, but we should get a few nanites uh, by turning in some milestone data. 150 nanites, nice. Okay, let's head on over here. Okay, we wanna go to the starship guy and we are gonna learn um, the cyclotron ballista and we're gonna also learn the Dyson pump and I think that's all we're gonna do for now oh uh, no I, I want to get the cadmium drive as well um, my understanding is the indium drive 
will let you go to the systems that these two, but the problem is the indium drive requires emerald, and I think we need an emerald drive to get emerald, and we need cadmium to make an emerald drive, and we're going to need the cadmium drive to get the cadmium. So you, you pretty much have to, to do them all. And Oh, we've already actually learned those, so we just need to build them. Okay. I think that's all. I, I want to try the infra knife when we get our fighter, but I, I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, you guys said to get these, so we're going to get them. I'm not necessarily going to make them right now, but let's get them so that way we have them. Anyway, um, as we continue to unlock slots in our suit, uh, then we'll start applying these too. So let's just get them now since we've got a gob of nanites. Oh, we do have the one wiring, wiring them. Okay, so let's do this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the teleport thingy. It's, I haven't found that to be incredibly useful. Um, let's move this over to here. I'm going to store our rockets for now because we just don't have enough room for everything. Uh, we'll have to build the cadmium drive there. So we'll, we'll put it in that slot, but we'll have to finish building it. Okay, now let's go back to here and we want the positron module. Okay, so right now it says our damage potential is 130.9. Does it matter if we move this? 130.3, so that's a little less. 139, that didn't make any difference at all. 120, 122, yeah. Okay, so I think this is probably the best arrangement for those. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move the scanner over here. Put that there, and then we're going to go to here and get the cycler, cyclotron module and install it there. We're going to build the cyclotron cannon there. And we need to make room also for the third module. We don't technically need the photon cannon installed right now. Because my thought is we use the cyclotron to take shields down and the positron to take hull down. Yeah, this one is just a tiny bit uh, less effective. So let's take that out. We can move the photon cannon down there and then we can put the other... Uh, I've got that X module down at the base that we can throw in here for that. Okay, so I think that's the best arrangement for that. Now, I want to change things up here too. So let's take... We got this new supercharge slot, so I think what we'll do is um, let's install that, and we also have another life support module as well. Um, let's move that there and put that there. Now, I think this X module is more powerful than the S. They're very similar, but the S does. 205, that does 237. That's 17 recharge, 12 recharge, 8 initial boost, 41 sprint distance. Well, I don't know. They're they're pretty even, Steven. They're not exactly the same, but they're pretty even. Um, and then maybe what we do here is take the jetpack itself and move it down there for now. Um... Or we could do that instead. Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell with those because we don't have a direct reading on what it's affecting. Uh, so let's just go with that arrangement for now. And um, that still gives us a couple slots here that we can put a few more things in. And you're good to go as you are. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, we needed to install these two. Okay, so we'll put that next to the plasma launcher it looks like that's a pretty nice upgrade there and then this was the scatter blaster let's put that uh, 
um, next to the scatter blaster right there. Look at that damage, 9757. If we move that over, 8939. Wow, that, <laughs> that thing is just going to be a monster. Um, if we move this up here, nope, that's not a better arrangement. That's not a better arrangement. What if we did that? Nope, definitely not a better arrangement. Yeah, 97.57. Okay, that, that looks really good. So that's what we're going to go with for the multi-tool. Okay, so we just need a few more wiring looms. And so I'm going to re run back over to the space station. We got everything installed, right, that we bought? Yeah. Run back over to the space station. Oh, no, I brought this with me, didn't I? Okay, hold on. That's going to go there. Okay, cool. And just get a few more wiring looms, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base. And we will um, get ready to take off and start looking for ships. Okay, so to finish this, we need chromatic metal. Okay, so let's grab the chromatic out of there. And we will finish that and finish that. All right, so now we have a cadmium drive, which means we can go to red stars, and we're going to need to go to red stars to get the stuff to make the next level hyperdrive, I believe. Um, and then this needs wiring looms. I think we are ready to go. So let's um, let's do a save. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I just don't know what it is. Uh, we have recharge batteries. We have a full thing of dioxide. We have some condensed carbon. We have plenty of ammo, and uh, I think we're in good shape. Okay, so let's head on up into space, and we are looking for a three-star Viking system. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's pretty good fire rate and, and thermal load. So those are our two weapons. So this is for shields, and this is for putting the herd on them. Very nice. I'm going to call the anomaly over here. But we're just going to sit here for a second while we go into the galaxy map. In case any bad guys come by. All right, so we are looking for a Viking three-star system. That requires an indium drive. That requires an indium drive. There we go. That's what we want. It's a Viking system and it's three stars. Okay, so set waypoint. Warp. Oh! I guess we can go. I don't know what the exclamation point meant. That's actually nice that it's just one system over. Times. Emergency. Oh, is this one of those freighter battles? It is. Okay. Um, well, let's see what we can do here. So we're going to need to switch to this. Man, this ship is so hard to fight in now. Okay, and then switch to this. Whoa! Yeah, it's just really hard to maneuver. Okay, he's down. Fracted supercharger. How did that get damaged? Our shields never went down. Oh man! This is not the right ship to be doing this in. <laughs> oh, look who got slowed down, man! Sucks to be you. 
Oh man, this is so hard to maneuver. Ah. Okay, he's probably got his shields back now. There we go. Alright, he dead. Suspicious packet tech. Yeah, this ship is just really hard to fight in. It's just no two ways about it, man. You guys keep telling me that if I hold down S, I can do like a lock on, but I can never get the damn thing to work right. So let's get close, close to him. Oh, there it goes. He's out of range. Suck it, man. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, shields are recharged. How come there's so many of them? He should be slowed down. Yeah, he's slowed down a little bit. Ah, I can't move! <laughs> okay, he did. our shields. Now, can I get a lock on him? I'm holding S down, trying to get a lock on him. Okay, that's rough, guys. I gotta tell you, that's rough doing that in uh, this ship. <laughs> Not an easy task. Okay, let's talk to the captain. Come and see us. Life form captain in communication. All right. Alert. Navigational data received. Okay, where do we go? Okay, let's head on in and see what kind of freighter we this is. We we do need a freighter. And we got um we got kind of banged up there too. Efficient thrusters. Okay. Well, I mean nothing no super critical systems are damaged. But we probably don't want to uh, get into another scrap, and we're gonna need—we need, need to make some more of these chargers too. Okay, so let's head up here. All right, where's El Capitan? Is that you? He's an admiral. Yeah. We haven't learned hardly any Viking words, so we don't have... An alien barks allowed battle cries and approach, celebrating our victory, victory or something. Test to the control panel to set inspect freighter. Ooh, it's an A-class freighter, you guys. I think we need this. I think we need this. It ha it comes with a, a, a turbocharged slot, too, or supercharged slot. Yeah, we're going to do it. All right. We are now the proud owner of an A-class freighter. And then I have to remember how to work with freighters because it's been a long time.
So where's the room that we go into to make all of our stuff? Freighters offer extra inventory storage. Additional starships can be docked in a freighter's hangar. Command expeditions from the bridge. Construct a base around the freighter. Is this the base room? No, that just goes out to back out there. I was not expecting to get this. <laughs> Ensign Pie. <laughs> Hi, Ensign Pie. What's up, dude? The Viking crew member looks me over with thinly veiled contempt there. Since they sense I am not a born freighter dweller like themselves and are suspicious of my soft planetary background. Yeah, whatever. You know what? I'm the captain now. I could uh, I could throw you out the airlock, dude, so you better, better be nice. Oh, yeah, okay. So we can build the fleet command room there. I'm not necessarily going to do that right now, though. A galactic trade room. A cultivation chamber. Refiner. This is the storage stuff here. That's just lights and stuff. Okay. Well. We're going to... I mean, this is going to be like a whole nother, probably several episodes for me to remember how all this works and figure out what's new and all that. Um, plan and dispatch ex expeditions. I think we have to build the command room first before we can do expeditions. Yeah, it says we need a fleet command room to do that. Manage fleet. Okay, so we have a science vessel there. Okay. Well, we'll figure all that out later. I know we can fly back in our ship back to our system and then call the, the fleet there. Uh, so that's probably what we'll end up doing. But anyway, before I wrap up this episode, uh, I want to at least see if we can find one ship because that's really what we were supposed to be doing this entire episode <laughs> uh, but we're having fun though and man that was a good stroke of fortune too getting this i was not expecting that uh let's open this up oh good that's a storm crystal we needed that for something i can't remember um starship shield module Ooh. um We need a we need a ship with more room. <laughs> what we could do with this is move. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, you're not gonna let me move it when it's damaged. That sucks. Uh, I was gonna slide this over here and then put this down here, but I guess we can't do that until this gets fixed. Fair enough. Yeah, we needed a storm crystal to make something. I just don't remember what it was. Uh, what's this? What does that do? That just... Oh, we got another storm crystal. No, we didn't. That's just the same one. I think we got nanites. Yeah, we got nanites from cracking open that book thing. Okay, good. Um, talk about getting sidetracked. My goodness. All right, let's um, let's let's go ahead... And pop that. And set observatory detected. I don't want an observatory. I want a crash ship. Let's just go fly over there and see what, what that's all about. Oh, you know what? We need to go to the station too and and get the um, the suit upgrade. Let's do that first. Okay, I think I want to just, 
unlock all of these. These are more important to me right now than storage space. And what's that going to cost us? 125,000. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Radiation protection module. Thermal protection. You know what? We need a thermal protection module. Uh, and we need a radiation too. How much nanites? Yeah, let's just let's get both of these. Because I have toxic and I have cold, but I don't have ra radiation thermal, so now we do. Um, yeah, let's not go batshit crazy, though, either. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, let's look at this. That's class B. Nope, not even going to look at it. I'm going to hop back out to make a restore point. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's look at this. That's B class. 63 million. Yowzers, it's expensive. Yeah, that's why we got to do this, man. We got to make some money so we can get ourselves a schnazzy ship. I'm tired of this flying this stupid Pringles can around. All right, what do we got here? That is a viridescent planet. It's got ancient bones and aggressive sentinels. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's. Let's just touch down at it so we can discover it. But I don't think we're going to do anything with it at the moment. Well, it's green. Um, does it have environmental hazard? Let's see. Yeah, we have to actually get all the way out and stand on the planet. Superheated rain. Nice. Extreme Sentinel Okay, so there's no hazard issues here. What's that? That's oh, a gravitino ball. That'll piss off the sentinels. Now let's not let's not mess with them right now. Um, where is the marker? The it is there. Okay. Observatory. Torrid planet. Side. Oh yeah, we need to make the level two atlas pass. Same thing there. Okay. All right, let's talk to this guy first. Nostrils flare. He's irritated. They bark a warning. I hardly mind that I'm peaceful and know little of their language. He cusses us out in Viking. They take a second to think and then grab my multi tool by barking again into my visor. Streaking it with saliva. Dude, that is gross. Um, well, they point at my mining beam charge indicator, then at my backpack. Mining beam charge is carbon, right? Yeah. The warrior grunts in satisfaction, impressed by both my gift and my understanding. They teach me several new words of their language. Okay, we got some standing with the Viking. And um what didn't didn't you just teach me some words? I don't know, man. Oh well, here we go. We got a milestone. For a diplomat, yeah yes. Okay, let's see what this has to say. A beacon sent long ago from a distant system awaits my response. Three numbers are visible above an empty input box. I think I know what comes next. Yep. 1702-70027, so 2170. Location within the distant stars. OK. 
Okay. No, that's not what we want. Um, so we're gonna basically pick up right where we left off in the next episode. Um, and we're gonna just keep popping these distressed star charts and hopefully we can come across some, uh, you know, some wrecked ships. Uh, cause that's really kind of what this is all about. But, we, we, we did really good, you know, by getting that A-class freighter, which again was not... Like I've said, I was not expecting that to happen, so I'm happy about that. But I'm not planning on really doing much with it until we get more money and get a better actual starship starship. Um, I don't think. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.